Hey everybody, Navy Doc 5184, and welcome to the finale of Star Wars Tales of the Jedi. We're going through episode 6, Resolve. The last episode, again, very short, and while not a lot technically happened, boy oh boy was it a big one, because that training that Anakin put Ahsoka through, that was the thing that got her through Order 66, and I think it was probably around the third fourth go around when she was going where I was you know that light bulb was starting to go off where I was starting to see uh, what was going on there and how ironic it is how the training that Anakin put Ahsoka through was the exact thing that had her survive Order 66 man that's just so crazy to think about and I loved the whole idea that they actually did that and I actually even love the little dynamic where when first Anakin shows up and Obi-Wan was telling him that he was just on time and he's like oh I thought I was late it's what I meant and then he turns around does the exact same thing to Ahsoka that was such a cool dynamic but um you know it was like I said it was almost a little weird how you have Anakin actually really being a good teacher but we were so used to him being so uh, impulsive and everything so the fact that he was actually really training Ahsoka well and that just really kind of makes his turn even that much more heartbreaking but um, at the same time it's almost poetic in a way that the training he put Ahsoka through is what allowed her to survive Order 66 so um, not gonna lie was not looking forward to doing this because this has been an absolutely great show I thoroughly enjoyed it and um, it's just such a shame for it to come to an end so we're gonna go ahead and see what they have uh, for us in the finale here so we'll go ahead and get started uh, if you are on my patreon feel free to go ahead and uh, watch along with me just as long as you have a copy yourself you can use the timer as a guide to know where exactly I am so you can um, get there yourself and watch along with me as I do this and let's go ahead and get started Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Wow, they just had to go straight for the gut punch, huh? Oh, wow. What? No. Wasn't expecting that. No. Got you back to the procession, Senator. I understand. And if you should ever need anything, please contact me. I'm not gonna lie, this just makes me that much more excited for the upcoming Ahsoka show. Break time! Break time! Is anyone else getting a uh, Obi Wan Kenobi vibe here? <sighs> she could have stopped it with the Force. Oh, looks like she did. Emperor Palpatine brought peace. Through persecution. Not citizens like us, only rebels who threaten the Empire. Uh oh. She is the force to protect somebody who's very loyal to the Empire. I foresee a betrayal. Master Jedi, you shouldn't say such things. Don't worry, it's our secret. So, okay, so I was getting a mix up. So she was the one that was saved, not him. But there he is. May the force be with you. I couldn't get half what they offered us last season. What? Is that where they... Oh, 
homeboy right out of Soka and the whole place paid for it. She's the Jedi. Stop it. See, I told you they'd be back. Now he's realizing what the Empire really is all about. Looks like I shall be rewarded. You may test that assumption at your own convenience. Look what you did. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know. More will come. You're going to have to leave. How? Where? Please, this way. Things have only gotten worse. So she's noticed. You're ready to get back into the fight. Oh, that was the finale of Star Wars Tales of the Jedi. And man, oh man. That was a heavy one. I mean, starting off with Padme's funeral and then having Ahsoka being in the crowd with that. I think the thing that got me the most was the parallel. I mean, the fact that, again, timeline wise, I mean, they probably it was about the same round time, really, if we're going to be realistic about it. But the fact that Ahsoka did the exact same thing Obi-Wan Kenobi did, you know, just going off you know just trying to be anonymous you know really not using the force you know just trying to blend in you know with the citizens and even adopting another name it is man but then being forced to have to come back and honestly I think this was really a good character thing for Ahsoka because you know, you could just see just how draining, like, Order 66, and I think people really underestimate for, you know, the Jedi Masters, you know, like, you could say, like, the mains that survived all that, just the toll that took on them, you know, especially, I mean, Ahsoka and Obi-Wan in particular, because, you know, that was Obi-Wan's apprentice that went and was the cause of all this, whereas with Ahsoka, that was her master. So the two people outside of Padme that were the closest to Anakin surviving this, knowing that he was, I'm not going to say the mastermind, but he was the big hand in it. And seeing what, you know, he is doing to the citizens of the now Empire. I mean, that would drain anybody. You know, I've seen some people complain about... Um, you know Obi-Wan being so weak in the force and everything like that saying that he was like a joke at the beginning but I'm like you go through what he did and tell me that you would still be you know just I'm just gonna flat out say the uber Jedi badass that Obi-Wan was you know before he had his first fight with Anakin on Mustafar you know you go through all that and tell me that you would just be okay to keep doing what you're doing no there's no way and if you all haven't seen it, I know there's this uh, video out there called Obi-Wan has PTSD or something like that. Man, I tell you what, that video right there, if that doesn't really get to you just how drained Obi-Wan was because of all that. But seeing that Ahsoka was going through it too, I think really adds a lot of, um, I don't want to say justification, but... I mean, again, you just got to look at that. Somebody that they loved, you know, and cared about deeply and seeing what he has become. I mean, that's just draining enough. Like, if you've ever had a friend or somebody you're really close to and you just see them going down this path that you know is going to lead to their demise and then it finally comes to fruition, whether it's just a matter of they're just so long gone that you just have to cut off contact with them or, you know, maybe something does happen where, you know, they themselves, you know, are harmed or anything like that. But the bottom line is the friendship you once had 
is gone that will drain a normal person but you got somebody like this you know like anakin and ahsoka where that's not only the case but they have done battle with him they've i'm sure they have saved each other's lives i mean anakin gave ahsoka training that saved her life you know how many times has anakin saved obi-wan's life and maybe even vice versa i'm sure you know it's just and that's really heavy emotionally and i was ta even talking about how this was even such a great social commentary you know you're seeing somebody to where he's just so blind to what's really going on and he's just that loyal to the empire that he doesn't realize how evil they are and how quick he was to even turn in his own sister in a way you know because he really believed the empire was for the good so and i think that says a lot about you know when i think of people who follow um, not just so much politicians, but even political parties where the people themselves are not that they're not bad. They are just fooled and they will just blindly follow anybody because they think that that's for the good. But then you see how shook he was when he realized that he was wrong and the damage that he did. And kudos to Ahsoka for not taking that personally because she understood that he himself is not a bad person. He was just deceived and he was living that and he was just, it took that for him to see just how wrong he was. And unfortunately for people in the real world, that's the same thing. You know, sometimes they just have to, things just really have to go downhill for them to really see that, you know, what they were believing was totally wrong and you know maybe in some cases even evil but they themselves are not they just fell for a lie so i mean that was a huge commentary right there and man i feel like there's so much more they could do with that but if this is where it just ends i mean that's perfectly fine because because from there we're probably going into rebels territory and i don't know what much more else we can really say on that but Boy, they did a lot of clever stuff with this series. I mean, just... I think the thing that still has me shook the most is just how behind the scenes Count Dooku was so early. I mean, the fact that he was already working with um, Palpatine during the Phantom Menace is just... I mean... That was a lot to take in. That episode by itself was so much to take in. And then this one, seeing Ahsoka in the crowd during Padme's funeral. And just seeing, you know, how she was ready to hang up everything, but then was forced back in the fight. I, I'd have to say those two episodes, four and six, are probably the top two for me. Just because of, I guess you could say, the impact that they really had on the future events. And even just in the progression of the full-on Star Wars story. But that was such a great show. I really enjoyed it. And like I said, this episode especially really made me look forward to Ahsoka coming out, which actually is only in a couple weeks. And I know that I said I was going to put up a poll on what show um, I should do next. But since it is so close to Ahsoka coming out, I am probably going to hold off on um, doing any more TV show reactions for now. Um, I'm going to wait until uh, Ahsoka comes out and then I'll probably do that. Um, but I, I probably still will do a poll because um, it might get to the point where maybe I'll start uh, reacting to a couple shows at a time. Not right now. Obviously, I want to wait for this to kind of start gaining some traction first. But uh, as of right now, um, the next one is probably going to be uh, Star Wars Ahsoka when it comes out. I know it's a two-part uh, premiere on the 23rd. So I uh, haven't decided if I'm going to do both episodes on the same day if I'm just going to do um, one uh, reaction per episode um, I got a couple weeks to figure that out so but in the meantime I thank y'all for uh, joining me on this journey this was a fun series I really loved it it was great absolutely well done and uh, can't wait for Ahsoka to come out and I hope to see you guys there